Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Welcome back and happy Wednesday, everyone. If you tuned in today, looking to catch up on all the IFBB Pro action from the last weekend, I have bad news for you. There were no IFBB Pro shows last weekend. But there are two this weekend, so that's where I want to start today's coverage. If you're out in the Salt Lake City region this weekend, the Watash Warrior Pro is coming back into town again, and they're bringing in bikini, men's physique, and figure. So you know there will be plenty of action to see if you're able to make it out. The other show on the docket this weekend is the Legends Pro, which is set to go down out in the desert in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is a men's physique only show, so that means there are two Olympia qualifications up for grabs in the division this weekend, which is a good thing all the way around because it gives more athletes a chance to compete for those spots, even though we have fewer overall shows on the schedule this year. So if you're able to support our athletes by making it out to either one of these shows this weekend, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. But if not, Make sure you join us on next Wednesday's show for a full recap of both events. Back in the day, sometimes we would stay out so late that by the time we finally finished partying, we'd see kids getting ready for school in the morning on the way home back to our apartment. And at that time, we used to call that walk of shame. But that was a long time ago. I'm a lot older now, and whenever I hear the walk of shame now, the first thing that pops into my head is the way some poor souls stumble back to their cars after they finish training legs with the 212 Olympia champ, the giant killer himself, Sean Clarita. A few days ago, your reigning and defending 212 champ released a few clips from one of his leg training sessions where you could literally see the pain on his face as he was trying to will his way through another rep. To his credit, Sean has been all gas and no brakes from the minute he stepped off the Olympia stage last December, which tells me that he has zero intentions of being a one and done champ. And to be perfectly honest, when you watch how hard he's training, I don't know if anyone else in the top three group has enough in the tank to catch him. And if that's the case, it means that this division might already be a wrap. In case you missed it on Monday's show, we featured Hunter Labrador during one of our segments to talk about his announcement to compete at the Chicago Pro this summer. And now it looks like Hunter will have some more company since Joe Mackey decided it was time for him to bring his talents to the Windy City. According to reports, Joe says he's planning to train with Dennis James at some point over the next few weeks, with the idea being that DJ will help him get to a place where he can legitimately compete for a win. Joe's always been someone who's had enough talent to keep himself right there in those conversations. So if training with DJ can really give him that extra push he's looking for, it should be fun to see what happens once that first call out is announced. And finally, we're closing out our non-recap Wednesday with a new update from Derek Oslin following his announcement about jumping into the Indy Pro next month for his season debut. As a top seven Olympian, there's a chance that Derek could end up being the highest ranked competing athlete in the lineup, which can almost be a gift and a curse. While on one hand it gives an edge in the sense that the judges will definitely be looking in his direction, but on the other hand it also means he's coming in with a big target on his back as well. Now with that being said, when Derek's at his best, he is an absolute monster in this division. And if he shows up at 100%, there's the chance that he ends up being an easy win. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. 
and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.